What is up guys and welcome back to another Throttle YouTube video. Before we get started in today's video, it's a good one. I have to make an announcement about the next Throttle sweepstakes, the next car giveaway. It's officially live right now and I know a lot of you guys have already guessed it. The Toyota MR2 is going to be given away on December 2nd. We've changed the rules this time. Every $1 you spend with us, whether it's on car parts or on merchandise, gives you an entry to win the car. VIP members automatically receive entries with their membership, as well as receiving triple entries on all purchases. So if you're a VIP, if you're thinking about it, you can earn three entries with every $1 you spend. Now lastly, we have all new t-shirts that are coming out tomorrow, Friday, October 25th at 12 o'clock. We call it the Engine Collection version two. We have four new designs, the 2JZ, the LS, the RB26, and the EJ25. Those are gonna be coming out in very limited quantities. So if you're interested in picking up a shirt, get on the site tomorrow at 12 o'clock, pick something out, and you'll receive an entry for every $1 you spend. Thank you guys so much, now enjoy the video. Hi, you're live. Welcome to Throttle. This is the final MR2 video. This is where 90s cars come to be alive. <laughs> that is what we do here. 90s vehicles. I'm, I'm, I'm taking over. Live on. I don't know what you're saying. I'm doing you told me to do. Today's a big day. We got Louie here because today we are going to attempt to get the 2GR started in the MR2, or at least try to. There's a lot that's involved of blending the 5S FE harness with the 2GR harness, but we got the experts here, and we also have some help from Mark over at Frankenstein Motorworks. I'm gonna set you guys down on a time lapse, and we'll let Louie and Mickey kind of run through, I guess, what we're gonna be doing today. And uh, I have faith that by the end of this video, the car will be started. Fat chance. What's going on here, buddy? Hey, so right now, Louie's done sleeping, and he's actually got to work right now. So, if you look in the trunk right now, <laughs> if you look in the trunk, you see that everything is completely tagged, and now we just gotta match, but we gotta match the uh, pinouts to the actual harness. It's been a long day. <laughs> so we got a lot of spaghetti that needs to be connected yeah. and cleaned up. A little later. All right, well, while these dudes were working on wiring, I went ahead and whipped up a little mount for the ECU, and we've repurposed the wiring harness firewall grommet from the, I don't know what car it's from, but TGR. it's awesome because it comes through from the engine, which you can't see because the tiles are in the way, Sorry. into the trunk area, and then this will all get hidden away once it's all said and done by this panel. Hopefully, that's the plan at least. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> We're gonna call it a night um, and get back on this tomorrow. We've got a couple more things to tackle and hopefully we'll be turning on the key. Oh, we can do that now. We can do it now, but nothing will happen. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. The car is getting so close to starting. Louie and the boys from DNA Garage are on their way down here. Ricky is en route. I've been here this morning just getting some odds and ends tidied up on the car so that we can hopefully fire this thing up today and get it off to the MR2 assemble this weekend. I did take some time really quick while I had uh, a quiet shop to actually knock out the, the uh, intake system. So I went ahead and just uh, cut us a nice piece of uh, aluminum, three inch, 45 degree bend. And also, this is our Frankenstein Motorworks intake pipe that houses our k and filter on here. Has the hole for our MAF right here. Went ahead and blacked it out as well because I don't want it to be a focal point in the engine bay. I uh, went ahead and used this Pour 15 top coat. Now this is my first time using this product. It was brought to us by the total sales guy, Glenn, uh, to give a try. And we have been in the past using the VHT chassis black. I know a lot of you guys uh, asked me about that when we did the Bad Apple and we did uh, 
Helen's car for Ricky, the RX-7, and we also did the 240 undercarriage. And we used a VHT epoxy paint, which is really good, but this stuff has a, a, a certain thickness to it that I really like, and it, um, it actually covers the surface really well with a lot less coats. And I made a small little bracket. This little guy is basically just an angle bracket. And what's gonna happen is that's gonna slip underneath the hose clamp that holds the filter onto that, that collar. And then that bracket mounts right here, sticks down, and then the filter actually will hang from that location. That's all done. Now I can put that aside and focus on getting the uh, radiator in and the coolant lines for Mishimoto plumbed. And then uh, Louie and Ricky are gonna do some final wiring and we should be ready to crank this thing over. Anyway, that's the situation. It's a big mess in here right now, but we did uh, get our ECU mounted last night, so that's ready to go. And um, we were missing this, this plug connector here, so we ordered that from Toyota. That came in this morning. Now Louie can finish up his wiring there and we should be good to go. So we went ahead and got this set of Mishimoto silicone radiator hoses. There's five hoses in the box. Um, these two little short guys here are for up front, and those go to our radiator. I'm gonna go ahead and dig the radiator out as well. That's buried in our parts room at the moment, but we've cleared out the area for it here. We're probably gonna go ahead and uh, just mount it in a stock location for now. And then when Ricky and I finish the snorkels for the um, airflow system that we're building, uh, we'll probably reclock the radiator to an angle that's a little more um, appropriate for what we're building. But uh, for this weekend's purposes and getting the car to the show, we need to be able to cool it. So we're gonna go ahead and just slap it in in the factory location and uh, cruise from there. I am back and I actually I am in front of the or right next to the MR2 and I'm going to be installing the Michimoto radiator can I get any louder I'm right under the MR2 and as you guys can see all this is still white and I am gonna keep it white for now so I'm gonna be installing the Michimoto radiator with the Michimoto hoses uh, on the stock location. And then when we come back from MR2 assemble, everything's gonna be taken back apart because we're gonna go with a different route, different direction for the radiator. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, my hair's so jacked up. Damn, Damn I gotta fix that. Next day. So it's the next day, and I know it's super ambitious to get this car completely done for the MR2 assemble, which is today. If you're watching this, it's obviously it's already happened. Um, and I don't know how much the guys finished, but I'm just walking into the shop and I see the MR2, and it looks absolutely amazing. Ricky, Mickey, Louie. Everyone just crushed it last night and I cannot believe how good it looks. It is on the ground for the first time in two months maybe. Here we go. Wow, 
So we got all the composite stuff on. They got everything shined up real nice. They got the door panels that were just refinished by SOS Customs installed. We got the Gretti exhaust on. It, this thing is really coming together. Now it's time to load it up onto the open trailer and uh, get this thing off to the MR2 assemble. So it's 9.42, we we're supposed to be at the event at 10 o'clock and we have been really struggling. We finally got the car onto the trailer and it turns out the leaf spring in the back on the trailer has snapped. So we can't take this trailer. So we gotta unload everything and we're gonna actually use TJ's uh, enclosed trailer and his truck because this truck's not gonna be big enough. So we're trying to get there. Cross your fingers, this goes smoothly. We'll take this thing off the trailer, swap everything over, and uh, hopefully get on our way. So, come down here, see it. Take a look at this leaf spring right here. It's completely snapped right here. Yeah, totally snapped right here. saving the day we are now in the big rig we got the enclosed trailer TJ's diesel truck this lease is a little bit more comfortable in here <laughs> but man this is a big mobile all right we are on the way up to Glendora to the MR2 assemble here we go We didn't film too much at MR2 Assemble, but it was an awesome event. A huge thank you to Ryu for hosting the event, and uh, I'm so stoked to have met a ton of people who have been following the MR2 build, which is so cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to drive the MR2. We are almost there. The next day. going on guys I'm back and as you guys can see I have the MR2 behind me and what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be replacing the uh, front lightning for it we have the turning signals well we have the turning signals we have the corner lights and then we have the fog lights and as you can see this front bumper doesn't have any fog light mount so we are gonna have to modify it so they can fit and also the wiring like always there's a relay for our switch here's our switch that it looks like it mounts in a stock location So, looking at this, this mount right here, and this one, where this brace is at, this is the exact mount where the fog lights will mount at. Um, and then I just have to figure out where it mounts on the bottom, even if I have to make a small bracket. 
Seems like all I gotta do is just cut here and here, which I can probably do while the bumper's still in there. so much for watching and sticking around all the way to the end we're almost there I know today's video is kind of all over the place but we're super happy we have the right people on board with this project and uh, right now we're actually taking the car up to Louis shop for some of the last-minute wiring tweaks the first startup and then we're gonna throw it on the dyno and see how much power this thing makes so there's probably gonna be a lot of people that are kind of complaining like oh you shouldn't give away the car and what I kind of realized is I've got two cars I have two cars that are both coupes I do not need a third car and as more and more people started working on the project it felt more and more like a company car than a personal car and I hope you guys can understand that I have a new baby at home if anything I'm looking for bigger vehicles but the car is going to be so awesome and I really want one of you guys to take it home and enjoy it so head on over to the website guys it's actually a brand new website it's so much better to use than the old website that we used to have and uh, pick up something pick up something get those entries in we appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one